وَنُنَزِّلُ مِنَ الْقُرْآنِ مَا هُوَ شِفَاءٌ وَرَحْمَةٌ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين My brothers and sisters, if we would like to take a look at hope and healing, we must look at the stories of the previous prophets, those who were sent to us by Allah Almighty as mankind. Allah chose them. He has so many. We don't know the exact number, but he has mentioned some of them and some of their stories in Revelation in order for us to take a lesson. Some of these stories are in the Quran. Some detail is found in the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and some from the previous nations, if they do not contradict what is in the Quran or in the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, we would still take lesson from these stories. So today I would like to go through some of these only for us to look at what exactly happened. Number one, who were these messengers? They were chosen by Allah. As Muslims, we believe they were always the best of the time. Allah would never choose sinful people to lead the communities. Allah would never choose those who were not loved by Him the most in order to be carrying His message to the rest of us. So Allah Almighty has chosen these people. الله يصطفي من الملائكة رسلا ومن الناس A beautiful verse where Allah says Allah has selected, carefully chosen His messengers from the angels and from the people. So He's chosen them. So Adam alayhi salam, when he actually was created by Allah, there is discussion as to whether he was over and above being the first of the species was he actually a messenger or a prophet? If you look at it from the aspect of him having taught his children what Allah wanted from them, then indeed he did have that. But remember right at the beginning, there was something that happened in his life that was really a great lesson for all of us. When Allah told him not to do something, not to eat from a particular tree, and that being almost the only prohibition for him, That's exactly what he ended up doing. And from this, what we learn is as human beings, we may falter. We may go exactly into what Allah told us not to quickly come out of it. So in Surah Al-A'raf, uh, verse number 23, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about the words that were used by Adam and his wife, Eve or Hawa, may peace be on them, in order to attain the forgiveness of Allah after they had sinned. قَالَا رَبَّنَا ظَلَمْنَا أَنفُسَنَا وَإِن لَمْ تَغْفِرْ لَنَا وَتَرْحَمْنَا لَنَكُونَنَّ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ The two of them said, O oh our Lord, we have wronged ourselves. And if you don't forgive us and have mercy on us, we will be from among the losers. Allah says, we forgave him. And then Allah appointed him on earth. And Allah gave him children and asked him to guide his children. And Allah promised we're going to be sending messenger upon messenger. Each time a messenger came, he had issues with his community. The community rather had issues with him. And each time the messenger was belied. Each time the messenger was harassed. Each time the messenger was actually troubled. And they sometimes even murdered some of these messengers. Now, Why do I talk about this when we speak about hope? Because weren't those the most love done to Allah? If people are against you, it doesn't mean Allah doesn't love you. Maybe you're more loved than all of them. It's possible. So it depends on your relationship with Allah. So my brothers and sisters, remember this. Nuh, the prophet Noah, may peace be upon him. How many people accepted his message? They laughed at him. They scoffed. They actually made a mockery of him. But he was right. He was very calm because he knew, I know something that you guys don't know. He kept on with a great calmness calling towards Allah. So when you know something and you know you are right, there is no need to get angry and upset. You can continue expressing what you know and what you believe and what you 
actually are confident about. And you don't need to become depressed and saddened because of what others are saying. There are people more love done to Allah than you and I who went through worse things than you and I. They were still happy. They were hopeful. And mashallah, they did a lot of good. Let's look at Hud alayhi salam. He went through the same. قَالُوا يَا هُودُ مَا جِئْتَنَا بِبَيِّنَةِ you know, the way his people spoke to him, you haven't brought any signs to us. You are this, you're a cheap person. You know, you're just, you just want fame. Look at Salih alayhi salam. He went to Thamud. Hud alayhi salam went to a nation called Ad. He was sent to them. They didn't listen. They were destroyed. What happened to him? He was saved. But right at the end, Salih alayhi salam, same applies. They didn't listen to him. There was a she camel that had come in as a sign. They harmed the camel. They were punished. What happened to him? He was successful. But right at the end, it was a great, uh, great many years of hardship and difficulty. But he was the messenger of Allah. When you're close to Allah, you will be tested. Look at Shu'aib alayhi salam. He told his people not to cheat in business, not to deceive each other. They continued. What happened to them? They were destroyed. What happened to him? He was saved. But did he struggle? Yes, look at Musa alayhi salam, the Prophet Moses, may peace be upon him. From the very beginning, look at his mother, how she had to uh, lay her trust in Allah completely in order to put the baby into this little basket and put the basket into the river. She laid her trust in Allah and Allah took care of the child. We must know there is a limited amount we can do as human beings. But Allah will take care of the rest. Lay your trust in Allah. Do your best. Don't leave a stone unturned. Your God-given capacity is something you need to utilize. Then you lay your trust in Allah and you do what you have to. Don't worry. After that, whatever happens was always part of the plan of Allah. Musa alayhi salam then was brought up by the Pharaoh. One day the Pharaoh turned against him. The Pharaoh was a tyrant and he actually harmed the people of Banu Israel, the children of Yaqub alayhi salam. They were harmed. What, what happened to them? Subhanallah, look at those magicians that had come in. They were executed. But were they in the pleasure of Allah? The answer is yes. They earned the pleasure of Allah. They told the Pharaoh, you might be able to harm us in this life. But you know what? In the hereafter, we're successful. You've lost it. That's what happened. So these difficulties and hardships, they were tremendous. But these prophets all went through the hardship and they were okay. What did they do? They kept on praying. They kept on bearing patience. They, they were convinced. They had conviction in their hearts. They knew that Allah loves them and Allah is going to grant them because they were the messengers of Allah. Look at the prophet Yusuf or Joseph, may peace be upon him, and his father Yaqub, Jacob, may peace be upon them all. How did he struggle? One thing bad happened, another thing bad happened, a third thing bad happened. Firstly, they planned to kill him. Then they threw him in the well. Then people picked him up and sold him. Then people asked him to do something bad. Then they jailed him. They falsely accused him. One after the other, everything went wrong. We would have gone crazy. Allah says, no, Allah will never waste your patience. Never. Allah will never waste the goodness that you have spent for, for whatever good cause it was. Subhanallah. So then later on, the doors opened. He became uh, a, a minister and he went further and further. And subhanallah, it was just amazing. So in Surah Yusuf, Allah says, إِنَّهُ مَنْ يَتَّقِ وَيَصْبِرْ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُضِيعُ أَجْرَ الْمُحْسِنِينَ Indeed, the one who is going to be conscious of Allah and bear patience, we will never waste the reward of those who do good. So those are the two beautiful good deeds we could do. And Allah gave him victory at the end. Go through the story of the Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam. Look at the hope we are instilled with just by reading that story. Amazing. Look at Sulaiman, the Prophet Sulaiman alayhi salam. He was a king. He was a great man. Allah blessed him with so much. But Allah Almighty granted him a dua he made. He says, O oh Allah, grant me, Rabbi Habli Mulkan, 
He says, رَبِّ غْفِرْ لِي وَهَبْ لِي مُلْكًا لَا يَنْبَغِي لِأَحَدٍ مِّنْ بَعْدِي إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ الْوَهَّابِ Oh Allah, forgive me and grant me kingdom that you're not going to give anyone after me. You are the giver. Allah gave him. Allah says, the wind moved at his instruction. He spoke to the animals, the insects and so many other creatures and so much. The, the, the mountains and so much more. So these are the people Allah chose. Let's understand if they went through hardship, and all of that was part of the plan of Allah. Who are we? We're going to go through much more. Doesn't mean Allah's not pleased with you. Take it in your stride. Bear patience, sabr and taqwa. Consciousness of Allah, continue going. Develop a better relationship with Allah and the patience. May Allah grant us ease and comfort. أقول قولي هذا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وننزل من القرآن ما هو شفاء ورحمة للمؤمنين